how does the singer become more inclusive in their own mm. stepping into the world? Sound check. Check one. Check two. The answer to that is the same as the answer to becoming a person with more agency just in general, you know, it's becoming a person who recognizes what, uh, you know, what is happening in my own feelings and my own you know, thoughts about myself, the way that I process, the way that I learn, and the music from a singing standpoint or a singing student standpoint, the music that I love to sing and why and what do I want to communicate? You know, what do I have to say? What is my great why for singing and for taking singing lessons or for studying singing? What is my great why? And recognizing it and affirming it in myself and also giving myself the agency and the permission if you need it, but giving, I'll give you the permission if you need it, but um, giving myself the permission to ask for to, to, first of all, as a woman, to be allowed to ask for something and to be allowed to want something, first of all. And then secondly, to be, to have the permission to ask for what I want and be able to say, I want to learn to sing or better. I, I'm taking voice lessons, let's put it that way. I'm taking voice lessons because I want to be more confident because I don't always feel that I'm being heard in my life and I would like to be heard better. And so I would like to have more confidence in my voice. And I'm hoping that voice lessons are going to help with that. So being able to come into a lesson, obviously not everyone is going to be able to do that and not every singer is going to be able to do that. But coming into a lesson with as much of that knowledge of who you are as possible and with as much acceptance of who you are as possible, as well as again, coming into a lesson and saying, I would like to have as much agency as possible in this, in this relationship and uh, being able to articulate what you want. <laughs> and also, like I said, having the permission to want um, as well. You know what? I deserve to be heard and I deserve uh, to not be uh, misunderstood in this world. Now, again, I don't want everything to be on the person to have to, you know, to have to advocate for themselves. That is part of the reason that I do what I do is to say, hey, voice teachers, <laughs> this isn't all up to the singer that you're working with to tell you what they need. But if it's possible for you as a singer to come in, even just with that kernel of that kernel of like, here's what I want to communicate and here's my deep why for taking voice lessons. Understanding that as you're coming into into voice lessons and, and just as just as a person, understanding what you have to say and knowing that you have the permission and the right to want a thing. We we have two <laughs> that, we have two founding statements of singing faith here at Voice Essentials. And one is it's the birthright of every human being to sing. And the second is every voice deserves to be heard. They are, and I don't think you have to be from a uh, a minority group to, yeah. to even feel like you, you don't have the right to sing. But yeah. actually everyone has the right to sing because it's firstly mm -hmm. it's your birthright and yeah. your story deserves to be told. Yeah. Um, and uh, and that's so important. And you, you deserves to be told in the way that you, that you want choose to, to tell it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love love the addition. Yeah. Very true. Yeah.